Hey guys, it is morning number five in London and uh, once again I am in Green Park. Uh, today's objective is change off the guards at 11.30 at Buckingham Palace. The time till changing off the guards I intend to spend on Pall Mall and St. James Palace. So that's where I'm heading right now. And once again the weather is beautiful, quite astonishingly. St. James's Palace apparently is not open to public, which is very sad. I'm currently walking down Pall Mall, which uh, essentially is the uh, road of power, or at least was uh, earlier when uh, power was still really with the kings and the empire, um, because this is basically where all the important stuff sits. So we have the Commonwealth House down the road, and we have a few very important institutions on this road. And Paul Mall ends in Trafalgar Square, which I'm currently heading to. All right, so I'm currently standing on Waterloo Place. I'm standing here in the middle of uh, one of the war memorials, this one being for the Crimean War. Uh, the fact that we are at the uh, Street of Power still is resembled with the fact that uh, quite a few embassies actually are on this road. We have the Brazilian one uh, right behind me and that one which I don't know which it is. <sighs> Over there is Canada and another flag I don't know but I suspect is Trinidad and Tobago. Might be totally wrong though. And once again I walk onto Trafalgar Square with the blue cock. Still don't know why. Um, I then walk down Whitehall and through Horse Guard Parade. And with still an hour to go, I visit at the Household Cavalry Museum. The museum is located in Horse Guard Parade and parts of the old stable, only being divided by the still used stable by a thin glass wall, which gives you the opportunity to have a look into the actor's service on the day. The exhibits include decommissioned material that actually was used by the Guards Division. Alright, so I just uh, witnessed the change of the guard at a horse guard parade, which I didn't know was happening today. And now I'm walking down to Buckingham Palace for yet another change of the guards. The uh, one of the uh, foot guards, of course. Made it. Caught up with the guards marching. And, oh my god, is that a crowd? <laughs> Alright, so I uh, extremely underestimated the amount of people that would come to changing of the guards by like a thousand, probably even more. So all I got to see was the uh, marching in of the guards from St. James Palace and the march off of the guards in the barracks uh, for the rest, the actual change in front of Buckingham Palace. I will return in two days. So I will now commence with my daily business in Westminster, which is the uh, Household Cavalry Museum, then Westminster Abbey, Westminster Cathedral, of course Westminster Palace, the Houses of Parliament, even though the tour costs me £20, I do have to do that. I then finished off the tour through the Household Cavalry Museum with some more historic artefacts, reaching from the times of the Napoleonic Wars all the way to the times of the First World War and even beyond. Okay, I just finished the Household Cavalry Museum. What I'm now going to walk to is uh, Westminster, the uh, palace of course, uh, the Houses of Parliament. Alright, slight change of plan. Um, I came across uh, Westminster Abbey. So I'm now going to do that first, and then Parliament, of course. And yet another change in plans. Uh, admission costs £18, which I don't have at the moment, so no Abbey today. But we shall not be sad for long, because we stand right in front of Westminster Palace. So this, obviously, Westminster Palace with Big Bang. But if we turn around, we can see a little bit more of London skyline, including the War Office down there. And then London Eye. The latest change of plans is that I'm trying to kill time until it is 1.30, which it is in like five minutes. And then I will pass the gates into Parliament House, because today Parliament is sitting and I plan to listen to them, at least for a while. And the reason being, I'm in London and I can, plainly, you know. I did visit quite a few Westminster system uh, parliaments, uh, but never have I sat in one of their sittings. So, 
Uh, we're changing that today. All right, I'll, I'll now start heading off uh, over to the uh, entrance to Parliament. I had a very lovely time in Westminster Palace. We were shown around through the entrance hall and the quite beautifully painted hallways. And then we sat into a debate in the House of Lords where they questioned their ministers. I spent about an hour listening to them before I thought it was time to move on. The rest of the evening I then used to play again with my camera in the blue hour and produce a few nice pictures of Westminster Abbey, Westminster Palace and the London Eye. So I hope you enjoyed my little tour around the city of Westminster and will join me again next time when we go to the Imperial War Museum. Stay safe and see you soon. Uh, even sadder, I deleted accidentally a file in which I was standing right in front of St. James's Palace and talking to the camera, uh, only telling you, however, that I'm now to figure out whether it's open for the public or not. Turns out it isn't.